Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are all having a nice day. In today's video, I'll be taking you through the different configurations that I tried for my WESH Wi-Fi in my house. And through that, I was able to get the most optimal solution. When I say most optimal, I mean how you get the highest speed and the lowest latencies. I'll be taking you through different access point settings, also router mode settings, and how I was changing the location of my nodes across the house. Maybe this could give you a good idea of the different setups you might need to try and how that can give you the most optimal solution for your place. I've prepared a deck for that. And without further ado, let's get started. Here we are on the deck where my plan is first to take you through the home layout so you get familiar with exactly which rooms are where and then take you through the three to four different combination of locations that I tried out with my Wi-Fi mesh and what were the results of that. Ultimately, at the end, I am 100% confident you'll be able to understand how different locations impact the speeds and the coverage. And also, you'll be able to spot the best location in your house for getting the maximum speed and the maximum coverage. So let's move straight into this. So this is my home layout. My house is a two bedroom detached. So you have two floors here, the main floor and the second floor. The second floor is exactly lined on top of the main floor. So what I mean by that is when you enter into the house, you go straight onto the living room. On top of the living room on the second floor, you have the first bedroom. Then next to the living room is the kitchen. And on top of the kitchen, you have the second room here on the second floor. On the left side of the living room, you have the garage. On top of that, you have the third bedroom and this bathroom. Here you have the family room. And on top of that, you have the bathroom here. Between the family room and the garage, you have this common area which is accessible and actually the bathroom is on top of this one. So I hope you understood how this works out. Uh, one more thing, there's the staircase here which takes you to the second floor and when you enter the second floor, you enter here straight into the lobby. Now, I'll start first with when I got the Rogers modem, I wasn't aware much about exactly how and where to place it. But the guy came in and he told me that since there is a cable coming out from this side of the house, so you'll exactly have to place the Rochester modem here. Once I place this, though I wasn't happy with this, this sort of a setup, but this was the output that I got. So green means a good coverage. And then I've also put the speeds just to let you know how the speeds were performing. Since this unit was placed in the living room, so I was getting a good speed here, good coverage here, so 500 Mbps. Uh, mind it, my uh, connection speed was 1.5 gigs, but when you run a test on it, most of the time you get between 500 and 600 because of device limitation. So 500 MPs means that it's performing well. That's the maximum speed that I could get. Garage was also decent enough at a 400 Mbps. This common area was good enough, 400 Mbps. However, when I moved further into the family room and the kitchen, the speeds were 100 Mbps and also the coverage was bad. Since the first bedroom and the third bedroom are on top of living room and the garage respectively, so I was getting good coverage, but because of the distance, the speed was only 300 Mbps in both of them. The lobby was also on top of this staircase. I was getting 300 Mbps. However, the bathroom here, this bathroom and the second room, we had very bad coverage plus a speed of only 50 Mbps. Now, this was not acceptable because uh, I used to sleep here in the second room and I was getting a really bad speed. I needed something better than this. Then the second setup that we tried was only the main unit hardware. So I got the decos, but I just hardware the main unit with Rogers modem and I put the Rogers modem in bridge mode. So Rogers modem was not working. Everything was working from the deco itself. So if you see here, I hardwired this main deco and then I had to put two other decos. So what I did, I put one here and the reason is because up till here, I get a strong signal from the main deco. If I move it further into family room or kitchen, I would not have got that unless I had ethernet there. And to put the third unit, I could have put it exactly somewhere here inside. But what I planned to do was I put it on the second floor so I get better speeds there. And this unit was exactly right on top of the second unit. So now how this worked out for me was, the main unit was powering the living room and the garage. So I was getting 500 MPS, 400 MPS, same as before. The unit two was powering this co common area, which is at 300 MPS, good speed, good coverage, family room, good speed, good coverage. However, in the kitchen, because the kitchen is somewhat, it's having a stronger or thicker wall. So I was getting a good coverage, but the speed dropped to 150 MPS. Good part being that this was still better than what I was getting previously, where I was only getting 50 Mbps here. 
Now, what was happening on the second floor? The main deco was powering the first bedroom and the third bedroom. So same speed, 300 MPS and good coverage. The unit three was powering the bathroom here, here and the second room. So I was getting almost good coverages here. But if you see the speeds, they were still not working at anywhere close to the 500. They were at 200, 100 and 150. If you remember previously in the second room, I was getting 50 MBPS. So this placement did help me. I moved the speed from 50 all the way up to 150 MBPS. So it was a good setup. But still, there was much more to go. Next, I moved into the router mode where I hardwired all the units. So previous was also router mode, but here I hardwired all the units. The reason I hardwired it because because I noticed within my walls, there are ports through which RJ45 was connected and I was getting CAT 5 e across my house. So I changed the setup a bit to align with where exactly those Ethernet ports were. And this time what I did, I put the main unit here as it is. But the unit 2 was placed here because there was an Ethernet port here and the unit 3 was here because there is an Ethernet port here. Some people would be confused like how exactly this Ethernet is working out. So all the Ethernets from here, unit 2 and unit 3, all were going down into my basement where they were connected through a switch. So that was a good part because I was able to track the Ethernet down in my house and I found out the cables. So I connected this main unit with the uh, Rogers modem. And then through here, there was an Ethernet going down in the basement, which I connected to a switch. From there, another Ethernet came out to the family room and then to the second floor. If you get confused, I have another video. The link is on top. You can go here and exactly see how the system was working. Now, based on this, if you notice how it performed, I have green marks everywhere, which clearly means that network has improved. Now, talk about talking about the speed. So we have 500 Mbps in the living room, or 400 Mbps in the garage. This common area moved up to 400 Mbps because it was now powered by unit 2. And unit 2 was also powering the family room because it was getting Ethernet. So it, I got full 500 Mbps here. Because of the change in location, the kitchen was also working at 400 Mbps now. Coming on the top floor, because the main deco powers the first bedroom, third bedroom. So same performance there, 300 Mbps, 300 Mbps. Uh, it was also powering the lobby at 200 Mbps. Moving to unit three, which was now covering the bathroom, the second room and this bathroom, sorry, not this bathroom, but these two rooms. So I was getting 500 Mbps here. This bathroom was getting power from this deco because it was exactly on top of this. This bathroom was on top of this deco. So overall a good setup versus the previous one. My coverage has improved tremendously. My speeds improved tremendously. But then also the, beyond this, there was one more possibility of setup change, which I implemented. And that was all units hardwired. But instead of using the normal mode, I used the access point mode. With this, my system looks somewhere like this. <clears throat> so I have the Rogers modem here. Now this Rogers modem is not in bridge mode anymore. It is working as an independent unit for itself. The unit one, instead of connecting it to the Rogers modem, I sent the cable directly from Rogers modem down to the switch in my basement. And from there, I carried one wire to this unit one. And this was placed on the second floor now. The second unit was here and the third unit was here. Now, if you see, I've tried to put my decos in different corners of my house so that they remain apart. There is very minimal sort of interception between these two and no noise and uh, those sort of things. Uh, and how this system performed was, again, it's all green across, so good coverage. Now, Rogers modem was powering the living room and garage, so 500 MPS, 400 MPS. This unit 2 was powering the kitchen, family room, and this common area, so 500 MPS almost across, across this whole main floor. Coming on to the other floor, the second, now this is not getting powered anymore by this Rogers modem because I have a unit here. So this was powering the first bedroom and the third bedroom, so I was getting good 500 MPS and 400 MPS here. The lobby was also connected to this unit 1, so 300 MPS here. Uh, this bathroom and the second room were getting 500 Mbps and this bathroom at 300 Mbps. So if I take you two blocks before, here this lobby was 200 Mbps, which has improved. This first bedroom was 300 Mbps. This third bedroom was th uh, 300 Mbps. This was when the main unit was connected to Rogers modem. And here, when I changed it to access point mode, now you see this is 500 Mbps and this is 400 Mbps. So overall through this, what I tried to show you are that Firstly, if you have a mesh Wi-Fi, that works better than just having an ISP modem if your house is bigger. Secondly, 
if you change the placements of the units, then definitely it does make a big impact. Third, if you are able to hardware them and connect it through Ethernet, you can get better speeds with a good connection as well. And by connection, I mean the coverage. And fourth, if you are also able to add on top of that the access point mode where you are still going to use your main ISP modem, then what you can get is something that is beyond imaginable and that is like a good speeds coupled with good coverage. Um, so that's it from this deck. 